hello guys welcome to my fifth video on c programming uh, in this video i will show you how to find the odd and even numbers from the user's input using for loop um, this is a pretty easy concept but trust me guys at the end, the end of this video you will find something new so let's get started so the first thing just need declare and initialize variables get the user's input size so if he enters 5 we is going to deal with five numbers so let's get the size size of array and let's consider this as array and change this to swing Here comes a for loop. This loop will execute for uh, the number of times the user inputs in size. For b is equal to zero. Now the this loop will execute the number of times he specified here, and uh, every time it loops, it will uh, get input from the user and store them in this array a. And here comes our main thing. Let's copy and paste. Right. And so now we are going to find out the uh, numbers from the array which are even okay for that if okay now um, the what this statement uh, does is uh, this will find out the numbers in the array a which are uh, which divides by 2 and the remainder is 0 okay uh, when it is divided by 2 the remainder should be 0 if it is so then it is a even number so let's print out this So this will pick out the numbers from array A which are uh, divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 and the uh, picked out uh, elements numbers will be printed out here ok and here comes our else if the number is uh, divisible by 2 and the remainder is 1 then it is an odd number so in this case uh, instead of uh, just printing this printing as like this we are going to add them to a new array so let's make it as new array and the size is 10 and this anything you wish uh, so just declare do two things uh, make it a new array and the variable to work with this new array okay so now we are going to add the odd numbers to the new array created so new array is equal to the odd numbers now here we need to specify uh, in which place we need to store the odd numbers okay for this apply the use this uh, variable by default uh, it will hold a 0 so every time it finds an odd number it will start from 0 the new array 0 is equal to the first uh, odd number and it is looked for the second time the new array 
new array the soul will be incremented now the soul plus plus right so uh, when it is uh, looped for the second time the value of uh, new the soul will be 2 so uh, 1 and the new array first place will be allocated to the second uh, odd number right so now uh, the final thing is we need to print out the new array so I use the same thing now print up hd comma new array and d that's it so before before executing this one this and paste it here so that's it um, so uh, one more thing okay let's run this program and check it out so now we enter the size of array let's put five numbers one two three four five here we go the even numbers are two and four and the odd numbers are one three five one oh, there is an issue with our program here it is here uh, we have incremented the soul so every time the this is looped up the this the soul variable will be incremented with one and the uh, variables are perfectly stored in new array whereas here we are just outputting the uh, new array elements so here we should use the soul right so um, yeah that's it so now check it out let's input some other numbers Twelve. That's it. So finally, we got it. The odd number, the even numbers, and the odd numbers. Uh, so that's it. Actually, this is a easy concept. Um, uh, the reason why I'm doing uh, like this, um <coughs> adding them to a new array and then retrieving here, is because um <coughs> in the upcoming tutorials we are going to use uh, these types of uh, arrays. Uh, in lots and lots of uh, topics so make sure you use this um, so for the first time uh, this is an easy concept so I try to <coughs> implement them using uh, this concept uh, so hope you guys like this one and thank you for watching see you in next video